And uh, welcome to uh, Farmhouse Kitchen on 3rd Street. Uh, I'm going to make something very, very special for you uh, this evening. And it's called Coco Vanaliki Moitre et le Chateau le Poissemois. Well, we start off with a couple of uh, spoons of plain flour. And uh, I don't want any camera shake this time, so compose yourself, please, camera. My God, you get paid enough. But, okay, so a couple of tablespoons of normal Morrison's uh, plain flour. That's all we need, and we put them into the bowl as so. uh, A couple of big, big spoonfuls. There we go. As you can see, quite a nice consistency. Anyway, let's put this away now, and let's make some more room. Okay, into the cupboard. Uh, for a start off, I need a egg, but we'll come back to that. Uh, a couple of spices, we've got uh, chilli powder, quite chilli powder for the hot side of life. <laughs> and we have uh, a little bit of garlic salt, keeps away the vampires. <laughs> well, right here. Uh, so first of all, a pinch of garlic salt into the bowl. So, oh dear, it does appear to be mm, solid. I wish the Yorkshire TV producers would get the bloody things in that I require. Anyway, a little bit of garlic, there we go. And a little bit of chilli powder. In we go, there we go, I think that's bad enough. There we go, darlings. <laughs> Mix it in like so. And then all we need is uh, a little bit of Maxwell House coffee. In we go with the coffee. There we are, Grady grains make fine flowers, they say. Give it a little bit of texture. There we go into the cupboard, and we've got what we need is Missoula Sunflare Oil. That is Missoula Sunflare Oil. Okay, and the cat is having a shit in the kitchen, so get out, you dirty little brat, or you might end up in the meal. But never mind, Missoula Sunflare Oil, and we pop it into the dish like so. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Back into the cupboard we go. We need a little bit of tomato ketchup. Play area. Bit of tomato ketchup. Get it in there. As you can see already, it's looking very, very appetizing. What have we got here? We have roses, a lemon, and lime marmalade. Roses, lemon, and lime marmalade. Okay, we've got a little bit of mole growing on the top. There we are. Can you see that? All adds to the effect. Here we go, let's just have the mouldy part in there. Ooh, look at that, isn't that nice? Ooh, I can see you all. All you people out there in television land, mouth watering, huh? There we go, as you can see, already it is taking shape. Lovely consistency. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> there we go, let's mix it in, let's get all that flour mixed in there. Actually, we've got to come in with something quite special here. Let's see what else we've got in the cupboard. There we go. Mmm, sugar, we don't need the sugar, just a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt, there we go. Pinch of salt. Have we got anything else? Um, just to add a little bit of flavour, we need Italian quick cook spaghetti. There we go, sorry about that. Italian quick cook spaghetti, we get the bits in there. Break it in. There we go, break the spaghetti into the, yeah, into the veil. There we go. Do, 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 do. And we actually require now one tea bag. That's one tea bag. Tettle is variety. Can you see that? Into the barrel. There we go. Down it goes. Down, 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 down. Follow it, darling. Follow it now. There we are. And we mix it in there. The tea bag. There we are. Very nice. Now what else have we got? No, I just need. I need an egg. Oh, wait a second. Excuse me, darling. Let's get into the fridge. We need an egg. And a gherkin. There we go. There we go. Break the egg into the bell. There we go. Very nice consistency. There we get into the gherkins. One small gherkin will do. One small gherkin, darling. There we go. Into the bell. And we just need one more thing out of the car. There we go. Let's just have some milk in there. I think it's looking rather thick. There we go. That's a bit of milk. Yeah, that'll do. And last but not least, we need whiskers tuna variety. There we go. Whiskers tuna variety. Give it that extra hint of fish. Uh, a little bit too much there. Let's just go for about that. That'll do fine. There we go, darlings. Into the fridge. 
And this is the last but not least. Mix it. Let's just break this gherkin up. It looks rather obscene in there like that, doesn't it? Can we just show you that before I do the mixing? Can you, can you get the idea? There we go. Just break that egg up there. There we go, darling. There we are. Looking rather special. Very special meal. If you've got um, friends coming round or you would like to entertain with your business partners or you just want Jolly to have a nice meal at night, just uh, slip it all in there. There we go. And into the microwave at Gus Mark 3. That's into the microwave at Gus Mark 3. Love you a second now, darlings. In we go. Oops. Oops. Oh dear. There we go. Can you show you that? Rather exotic. There we go. Into the microwave. And set it for three minutes. There we go. Let's see how we do this. All this new technology. Time cook. Whoops. The one that's good in a bit. Power down to 30%. Three minutes. And there we go. And we'll have a commercial break whilst this is cooking. Okay. Let's see. Three minutes is up. And we'll see exactly what we've got. Okay. Open the microwave. There we go. And what have we got? Oh! Oh my word! Le chateau, la chatte, et les filets terpacité. A beautiful consistency, and as you can see, you have to be fast to catch the thing before it comes out. Okay, so that's goodbye from uh, from Third Street uh, Cookery. Okay.